Hi everyone. Um, I know a few people are asking about the King's Tents, so I'll just give you a bit of a rundown. So we've got the King's Gazebo, which is fine. It's probably a little bit heavier than some of the other gazebos we've seen in the previous one we had, which I think was an Austrail, but it's definitely stronger. Um, still not overly heavy that someone can't lift it, but yeah, it's definitely a bit, a bit stronger, a bit, hard, a bit heavier, and, a, and it's definitely seems stronger to us. Um, so yeah, so we put the guy ropes on. I put two on each corner, uh, and that's how I put it up like that. Just use them, and I know some people say, oh, why put two up, but I put two up in the first place. It gets windy. I don't have to muck around and go back around and peg them in or, or get me drill back out and screw them down. So you can see, it's got the big window there, it's got a window there, and obviously on this side it's got another big window. So you've got good airflow. And there. And inside we've got, um, Kerry's got her stretcher bed in there. Um, I was going to sleep in the swag, but I didn't end up putting the swag up, and I just put my mattress on the floor, and the self-inflating, which is also the king's um, queen size self-inflating, which is perfect. I've slept on it the last two nights, and it's been quite comfortable, and I use it in the swag all the time. So, get the double doors at the front. It's all midgy proof so no bugs gets in oh, let's see if I can unzip that there so Kerry's got a stretch a bit there I've got the queen size mattress there so there's plenty of room more than enough room for two people we've got some storage tubs down the side there so that works out perfect and then I do have a couple of King's walls for the gazebo, which I haven't put up yet. Um, but just to give us a bit of shade and a bit of protection from the element, I've got a King's wall, which I've put up here. Now I've just Velcro it on there. And it actually goes under the King's a little bit, so no, no water comes through when it rains. And there. And then let's get the three poles. The middle pole I put up quite high, the other two a bit low. So the rain just comes off the sides and, and we've had that in the rain before and it works fantastic like that. And again, I put two ropes on the end ones, just one in the middle and, and two on that one. So we've used the gazebo set up quite a few times now. Um, we still have our King's awning tent for the car. And I still use, I normally use my swag because I love sleeping in the swag. But I thought I'd just sleep in the gazebo this trip. And that works fantastic. So hopefully it gives you guys an idea. Easy to set up, quick to set up. You just fill crow the tent on up the top and around the sides. So it's very quick to put up, very easy to put down. I just unvelcro it, put it all in the middle, fold up in a square and I just put it on top of the um, trailer inside the tarp there. I don't roll it up, I don't do anything like that, I don't put it back in bags or nothing. And that works really good. And it, it is really stable. Even when we were camping at Glenworth a few weeks back, or probably a bit more than a few weeks, and it got a little bit breezy, it didn't even budge. And there. And you can also screw, actually I did on this trip, normally I don't, but on this trip I screwed, I uh, got the drill out and I put a screw peg in one of one hole in each leg. I don't normally do it, but the wife said put one in, you never know. She goes, get yourself in the habit of doing it. So I don't normally peg it down on those, but for the, I'll get the missus happy and I'll put it in and and it's got a little bit breezy in the last half an hour. Not a, a big gust of wind, but it's not even moving. So we're happy with it. And for the price that you pay, um, I think we got the gazebo from Kings for under 100 at the time. We got the tents for under 100. 
Um, and they have specials all the time. You know, so I don't, you don't need to go and spend a fortune, that's for sure. But we've done it on the cheap and we've had no problems with it. That's about it, guys. Any questions, hit us up. Cheers.